congratulations on your uh, Buildings of Excellence Round 5 win. Super exciting. Uh, uh, what are your names? And tell me a little bit about uh, where you guys are from. Thanks, Michael. I'm Sean Flynn from Curtis Ginsburg Architects. We're the architects of the building. Hi, I'm Susan Wright from Self Help Realty Group. Um, we're the developers of the building. Hi, and I'm Lisa Trube, uh, also with Self Help Realty Group and the developer of the building. Cool. Um, maybe before we get to the building, tell me a little bit about the organization. Sure, Self-Help Realty Group is the uh, affordable housing arm of Self-Help Community Services, which is a 25,000 uh, client social services agency uh, serving uh, New Yorkers in uh, New York City and on Long Island uh, through a spectrum of services, one of which is affordable housing. Uh, we have 19 buildings in our portfolio, uh, and we have about 1,700 units and about 1,900 residents. And this is one of our buildings. It's going to be 110 units. We're very proud of it. It's going to be another part of our self-help flushing campus, which has six buildings in our first two buildings that were built in the 60s and the 70s. So this is an eight-story infill building. It's actually taking up a, a large, very deep lot uh, and actually sitting on top of a parking lot. So we have to remove a certain amount of parking spaces, but we have an eight-story building with 116 apartments. and. Um, uh, it is going to be all electric. It's going to use ground source. Cool. It's going to have a large photovoltaic array on the roof, and we are also planning to clad it with um, uh, prefabricated panels that will include, on the south-facing facades, uh, photovoltaic panels. Well, wow, that's really Vertical interesting. Vertical photovoltaic panels. Wow. To maximize that. Um, the building is uh, going to be a Passive House certified space, it's going to have support facilities for the community mm -hmm. uh, and for the residents. Um, and it is um, um, uh, the centerpiece of a redevelopment of the campus around it, uh, including new uh, gardens, uh, recreational spaces for the senior citizens, um, uh, uh, plantings, extensive plantings, and as well, parking. It's great, and it's a great looking building. I, I, I like that, and congratulations. I'm not surprised that you're one of the winners. And uh, it, it's a great looking building, but it also it sounds like it's gonna be really wonderful for the occupants and the community. Um, we hope so, yes. We're very, very focused on the community, very focused on positive outcomes for them, um, very focused on making an elegant building that, that's a happy home for everyone in it, but also something nice for the neighbors to look at. Yeah, tell me a little bit more about how uh, the Buildings of Excellence Award uh, plays into that and um, just a little bit more about kind of your experience so far. Well, I think the Buildings of Excellence Award has been enormously helpful to our firm as a whole. On this project, um, it's a design uh, demonstration project award. Uh, the funding will come in during construction, and we are a long way from construction right now. We're still in design, mm -hmm. uh, but it will help us to, um, uh, you know, offset the research and development costs that are involved in evolving this progressive thinking about the skin, about photovoltaics, uh, about ground source. Uh, for me personally, it's my first ground source project, so that's very exciting. Mm -hmm. um, and those are enormous benefits that we realize. And of course, uh, the money really goes to the development team. Mm -hmm. It's really exciting also because that also allows everybody else to learn from everything. I mean, what I love about the Buildings of Excellence uh, program is how much you're able to then share and then people can learn from what you're doing. Mm -hmm. So it really goes full circle with a, with a group like yours and, and a building, I guess. So congratulations. Thank you. Thank it's you. exciting. And I can't wait to follow it. Thank you.